You're listening to KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. The Beths are down here in the KEXP studios with me. Welcome. Hi. It's so great to have you here. It's very nice to be here. We are absolutely loving your record, Future Me. Hate. Wait, Future, that's a mouth, that's a full mouthful. Full, it's a full mouth. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for coming. Why don't you start us off with a couple of songs and I'll pull myself together. Okay. That's why. 
The best live on KEXP, rocking out in the studios. Liz can't even keep her headphones on. Sorry. <laughs> it sounded great. Excited. It's fun to watch a band get that excited when they rock their headphones off. Oh, your music is so catchy and so infectious. And let's see if I can't get it right this time. Future Me Hates Me. You started off with the title track, and that was Uptown Girl yeah. right there. So fun. Absolutely loving these songs. It's so great to hear you play them live. Thanks. You're here. <laughs> Thank you. um, so you you are from Auckland, New Zealand, and you've all known each other for a pretty long time. It sounds like. Yeah. Yep. That is true. <laughs> we um, like Jonathan and I went to school together, and Chris as well. I've known Katie for quite a while now. Um, uh, yeah. And in school, you were studying jazz. Well, at high school, um, the original members of the band, who Katie and Chris aren't original members, but they're. They were in New Zealand. Um, uh, we like, but we were all playing in bands together in high school, different ones. But then we all ended up studying jazz as well. And after jazz school, kind of started this band. And it ends up that you're in a guitar-based uh, rock band. Yes. How how did that evolution happen with a jazz background? I imagine you're able to draw from what you've learned, and um, that can help you inform your music in some way. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I. Like we were, we we're on different instruments and things like that, and but I mean, the, the couple of things are just like the communication, where you kind of are all speaking the same language, and uh, something else is just I guess that when we were studying jazz, it's quite a collaborative. Um, it's a collaborative music basically, and you're always um, feeding off the people around you and like getting a lot of joy out of just playing and making the music while you're making it, not just kind of like trying to recreate something. I suppose I think. That's something that I think is quite important to me anyway. And to I hope that it's like enjoyable to physically play the music and, and experience it. Well, your music is just, as I said, so catchy and infectious. There's energy, there's attitude, there's hooks, and you just kind of want to sing along. There's great harmonies. And this is, um, is this your full length future debut? Because you had an EP before, but you've been doing this for a while, and I'm wondering how you've seen your sound sort of change over time, and you know what you've learned and what you've been able to put into this new record. Um, hmm. It's a long question. <laughs> um, Take any part of that that, 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 that <laughs> piques your interest. Cool. Well, we like when we've it took when we first started kind of playing together, and I was first kind of writing songs, and we were jamming them as a as a group, and we we kind of played, we rehearsed for like a while just casually and then we kind of, once we started playing live, we started, we played live for about a year before we recorded anything. I think given that amount of time, it was, it was quite good to have that time to figure out what we were going to sound like. And so by the time we did record and um, at the end of that process, figured out what we wanted to sound like, we had, yeah, sorted through like what the rules of the band were almost, like what, um, like that things are generally fast and, uh, we all sing and there's not heaps of reverb or anything like that and just like rules that we like a lot of seventh chords I don't know um, and Jonathan produces yeah. the band right you sort of keep it all within the band what do you feel like your role is being a band member and then putting on that hat as producer uh, it's it's an interesting one it's kind of different to if you were to produce someone else's band. I think if you're working with someone who you've never played with before and worked with before from the very start, you, there's lots of things that you have to... Uh, you have to get inside the project and that's a big communication challenge. And, um, you know, uh, I don't, I'm not like the kind of producer who has kind of a, a arrogant bluster of, like, I know how this is going to work and, like, my, my gut reaction is, is, is right, you know, so... I, li I like to get inside the project, but that already happens with Beth's from the very start because uh, because we kind of start producing it from the first time we play the song. Liz brings in pretty good demos that have all the key information that they aren't much, they aren't going to be played on the radio, but they have like the guitar riffs and they have all the backing vocals in most cases and the song's really fleshed out, so... It's quite easy to take it from that point and just keep developing and keep iterating on it as we practice it and play it. So, yeah, by the time we come to record it, it's really just a communication with Liz about how much distortion she might want. <laughs> you know, the real minutiae. 
It must be fun to take these songs out on the road. You've played quite a bit in Australia and New Zealand, I've heard, um, for a while now. When were you first able to tour outside of that area? Was this year the first time you toured the yeah. US and Europe? So, like, towards the end of last year, start of this year, we just kind of um, decided that we should... We decided the record, the record was quite good and that we should try and <laughs> um, go elsewhere because if we didn't do it now, then we wouldn't um, at all, so... Um, I, you know, planned to quit my job and um, started booking, like, DIY booking a tour through the States and Europe. And um, and then, like, around the same time, kind of car park came on board and, and stuff like that that made a kind of snowball start happening, which was quite good. And uh, for overall, has it been a great time, Katie, Chris? It's been, yeah, it's been so fun. Yeah, it's, really good. It feels like a, it feels like a family. It's great. Um, Chris I and I are literally family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John and I are brothers. But, um, yeah, I, I think everyone's just had a really good time. Mm. Well, we're happy to have you here in Seattle and specifically here at KEXP. Again, loving the new record, Future Me Hates Me. It's the best live on KEXP.
sounded great. I love that one. I love the video for that as well. Thanks. That's super fun and clever. It's a pineapple mask. Yeah. <laughs> Enough said. Go watch it. It's the best live on KEXP. Future Me Hates Me out on Car Park Records. Thank you all so much for coming in. Thanks so Thank much for having us. Thank you. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.